This lesson we're going to be returning back and checking to see if values are included within an array. So it's going to return back a Boolean value of true or false. Also, how you can use index of to return back the index of the first responded item found within the array. And that's just going to be returning back an index. In this case, it's returning back one, which is the first item. And we do have it multiple times, so we can also use last index to find the last index value of the item. If there is not found, if the string value or the item value is not found within the array, then the index value is going to be negative one. That's both on the index of and last index of. There's also a find index, and we're just using a callback here was we're finding the index and we're checking to see what the first item is that has this matching string value and it's simply going to be returning back the index value of it. So that's where we get the index value of one being returned back because that's the first matching result for that string value. And then the last index value that we want is going to be that we're returning back the first one that matches this condition, which is going to be type of. So it's going to be looking through the array, the first number data type that we see is going to be returned back, and that's where we get an index value of three to match that criteria. Let's create an array, and then we're going to be using the includes method, which will allow us to determine if a certain value is included within the array. So create the array. And you can add in some item values into the array. So I'm just going to add a couple string values. And as well, we can have some numbers in the array. And what we want to do is we want to check to see if the value is within the array. So let's create a value for Boolean. And it's going to be returning back a Boolean value. So checking to see if the array and using the includes includes a value and I'll just use my last name there. And then within the console, we'll ch check to see what the result here is. So the result is going to be true. If we look for a value that doesn't exist, so do that under boo2, and we'll be looking for a string value of test, we're going to get the result that's being returned back as false. So either be true or false, that gets returned back. And this is a way that we can check to see if a particular value is included. So this is slightly different than what we get with the index of because index of is going to be returning back a position value using the index of the array. So the index value and using the array and then index of is going to check to see if the particular value exists and it's going to return back the index value. If the item doesn't exist, then the index value is going to be negative one that gets returned back. So we see that the current value for this string is going to be in index of one. Uh, let's try that with the other value for test. And now we know that this one doesn't exist within the array. So we get a return back value of negative one. So that's how we can know that it doesn't exist or we can see that it does exist. There's also the last index of, so it works the same way as index of, but it's gonna be going the other way. So if we want to see if a particular value is included several times into our array, so now I've just duplicated it. So I've got it multiple times in the array. So we're gonna be checking to see if the last index value exists. So instead of index of, we're just going to prefix it with last index of, and this one also convert that to last index of test. And I'll just update this with an L. So that will be lind1 and lind2. So the last index of is going to return back, and it's doing it backwards from the end of the array. So we're turning back whatever position is for that particular item in the array. There's also a find index. So that's another way that you can get the index. And it's going to return back the first result that's going to be matching the condition. So checking to see. And within the find index, 
and this no index of, it's just find index, is going to be looking for a particular condition. So whatever one matches the condition. Uh, you can also have a callback here. So I'll just do it call one and call two, and then we'll create the callbacks. And you can make these fairly complex as well. So this is going to be find one and find two. And then I'll update creating the callback functions. So we've got call one and then also call two. So two separate callback functions. And then within the callback, we'll add in some results or what we're going to be looking for for the item. Uh, so this is going to be the item in the array. And if we console log the item, so that we get the results there being listed. So we can check to see if uh, only the items and return back only the items. So if we do a return of the item, and actually this, we'll just do a return of the item first. So what gets returned in there is going to get the index value of zero. So that's just going to return back whatever the first item is because we're just selecting the first item. And then the second one is getting a negative one because we're not returning anything back. Uh, so let's add in a condition to see which one we want to return back. So we'll check to see if item and if item is going to be equal to this value. And so this should return back the first matching result. And then we can return it back. As the index value of the first matching result. So that's where we get one. We can also check to see uh, which one if we want to use type of and the type of item is equal to a, a number. So we want to return back the first number and we'll return back the result for that. And that's going to be in the second callback. So it's going to find whatever the first number is within the array and this is going to be 100 with an index value of 3 and that's what's getting returned back within the callback function of the find index method. So these are some of the methods that you can get the index value and also check to see if a particular value is included within an array.